Hello and welcome back. We're live in Geneva on the Volvo stand at the Geneva Motor Show, broadcasting to the readers of Wired magazine at wired.co.uk and Facebook fans on facebook.com forward slash Volvo. This has been a day to remember for Volvo. They have launched onto the market perhaps the most sophisticated family hatchback on the planet. A serious competitor to the BMW A1, the Audi A3. This is Volvo's next few years set out here, an ambitious strategy to dominate a market that's already very crowded and very competitive. Over the next five minutes or so, we're going to have a look at the design aesthetic and talk to the designers who've created this really good looking car that we can see in action now. She looks great on the road, doesn't she? Now, let me uh, just show you something before we meet Chris Benjamin, one of the designers. You may notice some competitors' logos here, Audi, BMW, Lexus, Mercedes. What are they doing here? Well, Volvo have created an app that you can carry around with you in the streets and you can zap a competitor's badge, a BMW badge, for instance, and the app will immediately tell you in that car what innovations came from Volvo. Now, you'd be surprised how many of the cars driving around the streets from other manufacturers are full of uh, those inventions that started their life in Gothenburg. And it's thanks to people like Chris Benjamin. Hello, Chris, how are you? Great. Get in there by the car. I'm going to move this side because I think we need to see you with this car. Congratulations uh, on bringing the car out. This. Um, sleekness. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about that first because I know this is a big part of what you've created in the V40. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, the first thing you notice is absolutely is the sleek profile, the distinctive shoulder line, and the, the rocker line at the bottom. And they really create a nice feeling as you move through the car. And to be honest, I mean, the world first uh, pedestrian airbag is what allowed that sleek profile to, to really happen. Yeah, we're going to talk about the pedestrian airbag in the next webcast, but I think it's just worth mentioning that the reason it came about is because they wanted this sleekness, they wanted to get the bonnet down lower, and they came up with an innovation. Let's walk around the back here, Chris. I'm curious about you and your influences because you live in California. Yes. Uh, not many people know, perhaps, that uh, Volvo have a design office over in Los Angeles. It's uh, just north of Los Angeles. Just north of LA. Yep. I know you've lived and worked in Gothenburg and Sweden as well. So where are you drawn your influences that have gone into the V40? Well, I mean, to be honest, uh, a lot of the influence is from just my past, you know, living in a lot of different areas, you know, international experience. And you'll, you'll notice on the car that there are a lot of things that are both uh, reminiscent of our history, for example, the P1800ES with this rear, um, but things that are also modern. You notice the DLO sweeps in, the nice full wide shoulders creates a nice wide appearance to the rear. And all of those things create, uh, you know, the, the attention to detail, the surfacing, and this very characteristic silhouette creates a tr true Scandinavian beauty. Chris, thank you very much indeed. The car thank looks you. really smooth. Just Absolutely. like you. Okay, that's Chris Benjamin. We're going to move over here now and meet Simon Lamar, who is uh, one of the other key designers of the Volvo V40. Hello, Simon. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, I know that you want to talk about the grill. Um, what have you tried to do with the front end here? Well, I think the first thing you'll notice when you see this car is how wide and low it really looks. And I'll uh, tell you a bit of the tricks of the trade, really. What we did is really work with the lines, the big lines, uh, starting from the bonnet, coming down and framing, you know, a very wide grill. Uh, but notice how these lines converge back into the corners. Really, all the lines on the car, on the front end, all always go to the ends. And so that's what it does. It attracts your eyes to those corners. So it's all a trick. 
It's a trick of the trade. Not and that's tell you starting with big lines and converging. Yeah, uh, so that, those are the big lines. Now, if you start zooming in, you'll notice that we have a lot of nice detailing on the grill. And I want to know, you to notice also how the spear now has been reworked to look more refined, uh, to give you a more luxurious feel. Another nice detail is you know, how the front grill, the lower grill, tapers down and goes again around the corner. Uh, and this finishes off with daytime running lights. Yeah, and these are lights, which is not yeah. always very clear for yeah. the, for, yeah. at this stage. Yeah, for but, um, but these are lights, and what they do is they attract your eyes to those corners and give you instantly that width expression that you want. All very clever. Let's wander around the side, Dragon, if you can follow us here. So, Dragon, if you go ahead, I know you're going to trip up one of these days, but I'll, um, I'll keep working. I wanted to have a quick look inside because I think what you've done here, and we can see photographers and press still all over this stand, uh, it doesn't look a massive car from the outside, but it's got an incredible sense of space inside. Mm. Now, that must be a real trick of design. Yeah, now, obviously, this is a tight package, and a lot of concern has been put into getting that spacious uh, expression with the glass roof, the lines on the dashboard. But also, you know, I'd like to point out some of the few details on the inside that are really great and makes this car not only nice to, to own, but great to own. And, you know, there's these little things like the frameless mirror. When yeah. you see it, you just feel good. It puts a smile on your face. Another one of those is that eliminated gear shift stick. Stick. It's not necessary, but just having it makes you feel good and makes you feel great. And it's funny you say that because when we put Jason Barlow in the car, the, the two things that he immediately picks up on, those details do make a difference the way you feel inside the car, don't they? Yeah. Now, the questions are coming in. We've got our big screen behind us, the Facebook side, Twitter side. I can see them coming in. Uh, nice comments from Lars Beckson, really cool in white, with black panoramic roof, the best looking Volvo to date. You happy with that comment? I'll, I'll agree with that. Yeah. Um, now, I did notice a, a question coming out, actually it was on the Facebook side just a moment ago, asking about the customizable dashboard, the sort of TFT design. Is that something that's going to come with all the V40s? Well, you know, with the V40, we have a great set of options, you know, that are all, you know, you can combine your interior as you, as you want to, from upholsteries to deco finishes to that fantastic display, which will give you these different uh, driving modes. So you'll have an interior that will please everyone. Okay. Simon, thank you very much indeed. I appreciate your time very much. We're going to be back at 15.30 Central European time. That's 14.30 on the GMT clock. And that will be a chance to talk in much more detail about the technology that's in the car and, in particular, under the bonnet were the world's first. So join us then from Geneva for now. Goodbye. You're getting good, uh, good feedback? Good. We're getting a lot of good feedback. A lot of it is on the dashboard.